These are the moments well-known people were released from prison. Thank you, and thank everyone up there. In 2021, Bill Cosby headed home moments after his surprise release from state prison. About four or five guys yelling, Bill, get up, you're going home. But man, when I left, murderers, rapists, bank robbers, wife beaters, all clapping. No more violent sex offenders. All of that goes away, man. I'm a free man. So I'm going to get this. <laughs> In 2023, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was spotted out shopping with her husband after getting released from prison. Do you have any plans? Lots of In Gypsy Rose's case, her mother tried to convince everyone the girl suffered from leukemia and muscular dystrophy. Lisa Guerrero explains. Fed up with years of unnecessary medical treatment, Gypsy Rose got her then boyfriend to stab her mother 17 times. They later posted a Facebook message saying, that blank is dead. The boyfriend got life, Gypsy Rose got 10 years. On her release day, Gypsy Rose was picked up by her husband in a Cadillac. A few hours later, the couple was hand in hand at the store. In 2020, Full House actress Lori Loughlin was released from a federal prison. Breaking news from California, actress Lori Loughlin out of prison now. Loughlin served almost two months for a role in the college admission scandal. I did hear that it was challenging for her. Prison consultant Jennifer Myers monitored Lachlan's time behind bars. It's a really hard time right now with COVID going on inside prison during the holidays, not being able to see your family, sometimes not even being able to do phone calls or speak to your family. It's a very challenging time. Three weeks earlier, Lachlan's daughter, Olivia Jade, apologized for a role in the scandal on Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table talk show. A huge part of having privilege is not knowing you have privilege. Right. And so when it was happening, it didn't feel wrong. It didn't feel like, that's not fair. A lot of people don't have that. Clara, what's it like to be out? In 2018, Dr. Clara Harris was released from the Texas prison where she served 15 years for killing her husband. Reporter Jeff Ealing of KTRK-TV in Houston explained. Throughout her release process, we could see her in the building. She had a giant smile on her face, and as she finally came out to the very last gate, she showed her prison ID to the guard one final time. Her smile broadened, and she went straight to a waiting car and left. In 2002, Clara Harris ran over her husband after she discovered him cheating with the receptionist at their dental practice. Video of the murder was shot by a private eye documenting David Harris's infidelity. She started proceeding to do donuts over the body, over and over. There's a big, big parking lot over there. She could have gone a million different directions, but she did donuts right over the body. Confinement for 20 years. Clara was sentenced to 20 years on what would have been her 11th wedding anniversary. In 2021, after 60 years in prison, Henry Montgomery was a free man. For six decades, he was incarcerated at the Louisiana State Prison. In 1963, at 17 years old, he was convicted of killing East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Deputy Charles Hunt. You can't put your fit sorrow and words and the right words to be used and at a time like this. Uh, but I did it all, all the time, but I still, I still got to live with that for the, next, for the rest of my life. Montgomery was initially sentenced to life in prison without parole. Decades later, the Supreme Court ruled that a lifetime sentence for a juvenile offender was cruel and unusual punishment. Since Henry's U.S. Supreme Court ruling in January 2016, over 800 men and women across the country have been able to come home, have been given second chances, and are able to rebuild their lives. In 2017, Montgomery was resentenced to life with parole, but his application for parole was rejected twice. But today, Henry being home is a symbol of hope for individuals who go to prison when they are young people. Henry coming home is a message to them that their lives matter and that they can redeem themselves and that they are better than the worst mistake that they ever made. This is Inside Edition Digital.